What's up guys, it's WZ here. Uh, it's my experience with Battlefront. Well, Star Wars Battlefront. And, uh, first of all, I would like to point out, uh, what the hell is with the no single player campaign? I mean, to me, really, it, uh, that poor kid. Alright. Well, okay, me and my buddy were coming back from the store. He was buying his copy with it for his kid, uh, down with Battlefront and everything. He got so excited, and so, uh, we all thought it would be, like, number two of Battlefront back in the PS2 era. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. Um... But damn, his face. That poor kid. Uh, to me, basically, the graphics look great. I mean, oh my god, look at Vader. I mean, he's all shiny and everything, too. Um, oh, just look at that. Uh, I mean, I would love to see some rebels get sawn in half. Like, get cut in half or something, but that just totally beats the concept. But, um, yeah, uh, story player, they should really do something about that, EA, I mean, come on, I mean, it's Star Wars. I mean, n not to be critically here, but what the hell were you thinking, bro? Uh, the biggest franchise and the biggest movie of this year other than the DC movies and uh, well no I wouldn't consider Fantastic Four no no that's a failure um uh god that was a failure um It doesn't even have to be, uh, I mean, a voice, basically, uh, story mode. I mean, you could have it to where you could put in the old, like, um, number two of Battlefront and PS2, like where they have it in space. I mean, that was my favorite one where you had to destroy the shields on the battle star whoops on the uh was it? yeah the um ship basically and you had to go in there shoot some droids or clones whatever you were and basically destroy it from the inside or at least try to uh i mean that one oh my god that one was great. Um, but yeah, seriously, put something like that for single player. I mean, and plus with the Battle of Jakku, I could be probably saying that wrong, but sue me. Um, I mean, uh, where's the map for the single player for that? I mean, I would have loved to do a survival mode on that sort of map. I mean, don't don't stoop so low, because you guys do great games, and... I mean, look at that art! I mean, oh my god. It's fantastic. I mean, the saber coloring that reflects off his helmet, the, um, cape flowing when he does the jumps. It's fantastic, actually. Uh, I mean, heck, I'm here reviewing, uh, my experience on Battlefront, uh, with drinking coffee on my, um, retro painting of Star Wars coffee glass, um, so basically, this could actually be a campaign for a vote, uh, 
if you, anybody wants, anybody that wants, watches this video, like, for a vote for, like, some sort of story mode for single player, or help, Ooh, excuse me, even for, um, even for multiplayer, I mean, I know they could do, do a lot like that, and the battling on this, uh, squadron fighter, oh my god, that one was the first one I went to, I mean, there's these heroes versus villains, but that one really caught my interest after playing the beta version, like, it was like, uh, my buddy kind of killed it for me, <laughs> uh, not really killed it for me, but like, um, he, we played it a lot, basically, and it was like, oh, I know where to go to get Vader's, uh, hero skin for Vader, and stuff like that. Could never find Luke's, though, but, um, I found him one time by luck, and I couldn't still remember, like, I couldn't even remember where I got him from. Uh, but this, I mean, look at the reflecting off of the saber, I mean, I mean, combat with Luke and Vader, I actually got to do that, like, without any stormtroopers trying to kill us, uh, one time, and I believe it was, yeah, it was on Endor, so that one was like, Wow, that was... It, 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 clashing the sabers kind of sucked, but it was still an awesome effect to doing that. And I love EA for their games, and they do pretty good job of them. Uh, there's a few disappointments, but... Well, I wouldn't even say disappointments, but... um. It's like forgivable, but if it's like if they do a single player campaign for this, this game would be complete and it doesn't even have to be voiced. I mean you could just take it right off of the um uh old ones. Probably if you wanted to get the Attican skin for it, that'd be that'd be awesome with the old Obi Wan and everything. So, enough about the single player. I mean, multiplayer, a lot of stuff, but, uh, where do I begin with multiplayer? Heroes versus villains. Gotta love that one. Kind of irritating because you have, no oh wait, no, that, I'm thinking of a different one. Uh, hero hunt. I think it's called, where you have to go ahead and you have to um, shoot down the hero, and yet in order to become him. So I found that irritating. And it's like me and my buddy. Uh, well, he was like I, I would say rival and everything like at first, but we became buddies on this. I mean you make the weirdest friends in this game. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, I mean, Hoth, uh, the Hoth books, original. I mean, look at that! <laughs> I mean, oh my god. It's fantastic, and my god, please like at least do a space thing for some multiplayer and none of that training stuff because man you could do so much uh... but yeah if you guys want to vote for a single player campaign uh... this is my first video ever so i'm very excited so i'll catch you guys later Hopefully I'll do more in the future. Laters.